Alrighty, moving on, let's get into the full moon. So as we just learned in the new moon, the new moon is the beginning of the lunar cycle and the full moon, although it looks like it's the, I suppose, the end of the cycle before the new one starts, it's actually the middle of the cycle. So this is what we've considered the half moon um, because we're halfway through the lunar cycle. So the full moon is the peak of illumination. It's the peak of the moon's effects on the earth. The full moon has the ability to pull the tides up to the shore and as we know humans are made up of mostly water so we can only assume that that we also have that connection to the full moon and that it's pulling on us as well that is how we know the full moon to be such an emotionally intense highly irritable it's really strong we feel it the entire earth feels it and it is where the term lunatic comes from so lunatic so this is where some people's bad behavior can come out i have plenty of stories about myself um, in my early 20s and my drinking days um, of me with a, on a full moon um, acting a little bit nuts and I could definitely notice around myself even now uh, the behaviors of others during a full moon and if you go if you work with somebody or know somebody that works in a hospital they will also confirm that uh, more injuries come in and the chaotic nature of an uh, already chaotic situation at a hospital becomes even more intense, even stronger. So that is our full moon. It is halfway through the lunar cycle. It is the peak of lunar illumination when we can see the full circle of the full moon. And shortly after the, the full moon, because it's really only illuminated 100%, it looks like it's illuminated for a few days, but it's really only illuminated 100% for probably a few minutes. Um, and as the orbits continue, it moves out slightly, um, showing us just a little bit less minute by minute. So when that process starts happening, moving out of the full moon, this is the beginning of the waning phase. So the first half of the lunar cycle is known as the waxing phase and the second half as we go back towards the dark moon and we're losing illumination, that is the waning phase. So I want you to take a, a, take a quick second now and think about any full moon stories that you have about yourself or that you have about others. Um, and if you like, feel free to share those in the discussion or in the questions. I absolutely love to hear those and I might use that as an example in some of my workshops or even maybe a future course if you are okay with that. A quick full moon story about me. So I went out for a friend's birthday. Um, I was probably about 23, 24 years old. Um, I did like to have a few drinks back then. And throughout this night, not even realizing that it was a full moon, I had a number of occurrences that were just me times 25. And I'm already a pretty outroverted person, especially when I have a couple of drinks. I lose all my inhibitions. So anyways, I went out on this night and my friends were feeling really low and they weren't having a lot of energy and I wanted to make sure that my friend had a good birthday. So I just opened right up, started buying drinks for everybody, ended up buying drinks for a group of about 15 guys on a bachelor party, which is not something that I would normally do. Um, and then at some point, being very intoxicated, I ended up leaving my friends, meeting a man in a wheelchair who was lost, bringing him back to his hotel, and then I continued on my way, found a bar on the way home, had another drink, made a whole bunch of friends, and then went to go get pizza, and outside of the pizza place, there was about uh, five homeless, I guess probably early 20s, maybe late teenagers, and I hung out with them for actually quite a while, sat with them, got to see from their perspective what they're, how they're viewing the world, ended up giving them every last bit of money that I had on me, which was probably about 60 or $80. And then I woke up the next morning with a pizza box on my chest, and so I guess I fell asleep eating that pizza. So that was my, that's my full moon story. That's my biggest one. That's my most memorable one, where I woke up the next day and went, what the heck happened? And somebody said, oh, Alicia, well, it makes sense because it was a full moon. And I was like, well, okay. So that was my first awareness of the lunar cycle affecting me um, and making me a lunatic. So that's our full moon. That's my full moon story. So the most important thing during a full moon is to stay cool, calm, and collected. 
everything around you is going to be intense. So conflict is going to be up. Irritation is going to be up. And we need to make sure that we're not being dragged into that because the full moon is a very powerful time if we realize that we can hone it in a really powerful way. We can't do that if we are caught up in pettiness and fighting with our friends and fighting with our family. If somebody is trying to fight with you, you need to wait until after the full moon and you go into a waning phase and everybody will calm down so much. So we are working to stay calm, cool, and collected so that we can get the most out of the full moon power. So like I said earlier, the new moon is a time of creation. So the full moon being halfway through the, t uh, halfway through the cycle is a time of release. This is when we are releasing things from our life. So just like in a new moon, we're bringing things in. We're bringing people, we're bringing opportunities, we're bringing jobs, we're bringing money, whatever it is that we're manifesting or setting our intentions for. The full moon is the exact opposite. We take a look at our life and we go, this person is a liability, not an asset. I'm, they are not good for me. They take me for granted. They don't treat me well. I am going to release them from my life. I have all of these clothes that I haven't worn in two years. I'm going to purge that and release it from my life. So this can go for all sorts of releases. It doesn't have to be just one thing. It can be letting go of a career or even a project. If there's a project that you've been working on for a really long time and it is just not working out and you are not enjoying it anymore, you can use the full moon to release that, release the expectation that you had of completing that project. Um, so in release, there also has to be forgiveness, forgiveness for yourself and forgiveness for those around you. So when you're releasing a person, we're just going to forgive them for not being conscious enough to realize how they were affecting us in a negative way. We're going to forgive them and we're going to let them go and we're going to release them. And also if we have any past resentments, any past things that we have been holding on to that have been lingering and boiling up inside of us, this is a really good time in your full moon ceremony to choose that as something to purge, to release, and to forgive. So that's the full moon. It's all about release and forgiveness and letting go of people, places, things, projects, careers. And as we move into the new moon and then after letting all of that stuff go, we will then reassess in the dark moon and then make our new moon intention. So every single lunar cycle, you do have the opportunity to release and forgive and start anew create new intentions, create new manifestations for your life, which is so, so powerful. And new moon ceremonies are such a wonderful way of doing that. They can make such a big impact when you take that time to meditate, to connect, to let go of the outside world and really just figure out what it is that you want for yourself, what it is that you don't want for yourself. So that is the full moon. Like I said, we need to stay calm, cool, and collected. We need to stay away from conflict and also stay away from sweeping judgments and decisions. This is not a time to make a decision. With the intensity of the full moon, we might be fighting with somebody and go, Psh, I don't want them in my life anymore. And you tell them, get out. I want nothing to do with you anymore, such as breaking up with a partner. Um, and this is a common thing that happens on the full moon. I do have my own stories about that, which I won't get into this time. So this is not a time for making decisions because of the intensity. You're feeling everything so big because the moon is pulling on all the water in your body. So at this time, we're just going to sit on all of that stuff that is coming up for us during the full moon, release what we need to, and then sit on the rest. And then as we move into the waning phase, you'll feel yourself emotionally calming down, letting go of the anger, and you'll be able to see things a little bit more clearly and make those decisions if you actually do want to release that person from your life um, or if those judgments were correct, essentially. So that is our full moon. We are going to move into the ceremonies next. So let's, let's do that. Have a look at the handouts. And I'm just basically going to take you through a basic ceremony. Um, and then you're going to be able to do that at home on your own, own after that. So let's do it. <laughs> 